for the phrase say bite again, um, we hear the sounds s a in the word say, the sounds b i t in the word bite, and a uh, g e n in the word again. Um, that first sound in the word say, we hear the s sound. It's an unvoiced fricative. Um, we are building air up behind a, an obstruction and then pushing it through that narrow constriction. Um, since it is unvoiced, we will not look for a voice bar on that spectro, spectrogram. Um, spectrogram, sorry. Um, we will look for um, no formant bands above because it's producing frication noise. Um, and then we will also look for a darker color because there is an amplified frequency with that s sound. Um, the next sound we hear in the word to say is that A sound. It's a vowel um, diphthong. We will look for those clear um, formant lines on the spectrogram. We will also see on the spectrogram and look for um, kind of a movement of those formant lines because it is a diphthong. It's moving through those vowel sounds. Um, the next sound that we'll look for in, on the spectrogram is the B sound for the word bite. Um, the B sound is a voiced stop. We will look for a stop gap as, that's, as we're building up pressure to generate that sound. We'll then look for a voice bar um, because that sound is voiced. We'll look for the, um, the frication, the grayness, or the turbulent noise. Um, and we will also see that it's short in duration, the sound is short, because it is a quick burst of air coming out. The next sound we'll look for is the I sound. Um, it is a vowel, so we'll see those clear formant lines. Um, the next sound is the T sound. It is a voiceless stop. So we will look for a, um, a stop gap as, the, as we build up pressure to generate that sound. We will not look for a voice bar because it is voiceless. Um, we will also see that um, the turbulent noise or the frication noise, the grayness, um, and again, it will be short in duration because it is a stop, it's a quick burst of air. Um, in the last word in the phrase on the spectrogram, we um, see the word again. We are looking for the sounds uh, g, eh, n. That A sound is a vowel sound, so we'll, we'll look for those formant lines again. Um, next, we see the g sound, which the g is a voiceless stop. So um, we'll look for that stop gap as we build up the pressure to generate that sound. We'll then look for the voice bar um, because it is a voiced stop. We'll look for the um, turbulent noise, the frication above. Um, it's represented with grayness. Um, it's lighter gray because it's softer. We also will look for the shortness and duration because it is a quick burst of air coming out. The next sound is the A sound. Um, it is that vowel sound, so we'll look for those clear formant lines once again. Um, and that last sound is the n sound, which is a vowel or a nasal consonant, excuse me, um, a nasal consonant. So um, we'll look for that nasal murmur, um, which will be that um, the sound on the spectrogram. Um, and we'll see, we'll see that indicated there. And we'll also look for um, lines kind of that are lighter in color because of the dampened sounds by the oral and nasal cavities. So there's a lot of tissue to absorb that sound, so it will be lighter um, as, we, as we look at the spectrogram.